day two on uh, Project Volvo Interior, and the sun is shining. Oh, look at that, there's a great big plane going over. Can you see that? Where is it? Oh, yeah. It's a what? C17 World Blaster, says Liam. World Blaster? Glow Blaster? Globe Blaster? Globe Master, not World Blaster. Cool, that was lost lost in translation there with your northern accent. Where are you from? Leeds. Leeds, there you go. Right, anyway, back to cars. Flashback. Right, so I'll show you the plan. Uh, there's the, this is the 850T5 from George. We've got Matt's Octavia there. My, my Volvo is sort of a holding fort in the middle. Sorry, Gaz's Octavia and Matt's Saab, which he bought because the blue one, which he bought from me originally, has died. So this lovely interior, which I shall show you, is going on. See, that's going to be nice, isn't it? That is going to be nice when that is in here. So you can see the potential. We're going to end up with a really nice looking car. It's just going to take a bit of work, a lot of stripped fingers and um, a lot of cups of tea. So I think a lot of chat and shit as well. I think there's going to be a lot of chat and shit today, which is great. So let's, uh, I'll crack on. that work yeah it does yeah. George took this car on a dyno and he got results ranging between 203 on a bad run because there was something going wrong with second gear it wouldn't it, it wouldn't hold in a gear basically and the peak was 279 so wow. horsepower on this car anyone's guess 203 279 you've driven it what do you I've, think I've got to say I just drove it now and you'll see the video whether it's before we met whatever yeah but the gear change on this car is so smooth really smooth so I had a 2.3 that was an ex police car uh the most that was 240 wasn't it 240 brake and yeah. this car's quicker than that i know it is because i drove this and thought wow this is this is quicker than the one i had um i think the gear change on the one i had was not as smooth as this so yeah whoever guessed this in the raffle is uh they it's should a be it's a very proper, happy it's a properly fast car this is it is and i'm even going to put my neck on the line and I'd say i think it's the quickest car that i've had on the jeff channel the only other one that was close is obviously the the 95 aero hots and Pablo, I think if you were to put this up against one of the 95 Aero Hots, I think it would be a very, very interesting challenge. This, this car's quick, probably. It, it is. It and is. it sounds immense too. The sound, the sound is fantastic. And I, I would say that I'm all about, when I drive a car, I love it when it's, I love the smoothness of the, the power transfer and just, and, and it feels really tight. Um, and the gearbox feels really good. How many miles is it then? 115. Called as a speedo. I don't know if that works, but it might do. Might do. Anyway, it feels it feels lovely. So, uh, welcome back to Upton upon Seven. It has actually stopped raining, which is uh, nice. I don't really feel the cold, but I'm cold today, so I've got two jumpers and a coat on. Um, Mid Wales. So this is the V70, which uh, we've been, well, mostly Jeff has been working on as I've been having a good chat with Gareth. Um, as you can see, all the front seats are now out, and so is the headlining, um, and the back seats are out, just that little bit to go. Um, so if you come around the back, this is the T setup. Um, I've, I've actually, where's, where's my mug? Oh, I've got a, there it is. I think I've showed you the mug, but um, I'm taking this home with me. All Volvos never die. So this is now the uh, the car that the donor is material is going into. Um, and here's Jeff. Have a look at my headlining. Have a look at the headlining. So we put so, the headlining in. Just a bit of a, uh, an update. The headlining is done. Yep. Now what I'm doing is I'm just wiping down the floors a little bit because they're extremely muddy. Not George's fault, it's the weather. We've been in and out of this car whilst we've been getting everything ready. Yeah. And once the floors are wiped down, the carpets can go in. The carpets are grim, but I'm going to take this for a proper gold valet and hopefully they'll clean those up. Now, if I was going to take this car on as the next owner, yeah. I'd get the seats out, I'd get the carpets out and I'd have them cleaned properly. Yeah. But I'm not doing that now. 
Uh, it'll get all put in and it'll go for. Is this the interior? For, well, obviously, the, from the V70. Yeah. Well, that was yeah. my that was my V70 for. Uh, yeah, exactly. How long a week? Uh, I've got to say that I would have got the I would have got the interior sort of cleaned. I would have done it myself. That's just the problem with beige carpets. Yeah, you? it is. You got a beige carpet car. Yeah. That's what twenty two years old. But all I would say, Jeff, is that so a friend I had a friend get in it and they said, oh, this is in exceptional condition. I mean, yeah. for me, as somebody who's owned a lot of cars, I'm thinking I'm going to get some McEwens from Halfords and just McGuire's. do it. McGuire's. McGuire's, sorry. McEwens is that lager that used to sponsor Blackburn Road. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry. McGuire's. I would have got some McGuire's from Halfords. Back when Alan Shearer was 15 million quid after Euro 96, which was the last time I was interested in football. Anecdote. Yeah. Good. What do you think, Gaz? Yeah. It's looking good. It is looking good. And I tell you what, the new owner of this, and this is a good thing about stripping things out just look at how look there's no rust anywhere to be seen on no, this vehicle. And, if, and if you put the camera towards the back as well so people that have watched jeff boy's cars will know that on my 850 which is the car that's behind there it was oh, you just put your dirty foot on my floor i no, I, I put it on the bar on yeah it's fine on my 850 they rushed through from the back they rushed from yeah. the other side and then you get holes in that that is the mounting point for the rear seat yeah this car it doesn't have any rust at all. No, not There's at a all. Bit of rust on the That's front. a little bit of surface, nothing. Yeah. But that is all rock solid, really rock solid. In fact, all the other Volvos are the same, except the one that I actually own and drive. That's the only one I've found that was really, really rusty. Mm. Excellent. So uh, we're, we're making progress. We are making progress. So uh, carpets are going in next, and then the seats. The back's all done. The headlining's done. Um, that's it, really. Lovely. Excited to see it come together. End of flashback. And you can't be showing your package on YouTube. No, it's all right. They've all seen my package before. It's this one, look. This package from off of a guy from Facebook Marketplace. Look, he's got the door cards in. So the door cards are going in there today. That's the plan. And then I'm driving this car home today, even if it kills me. That's the plan. Several months later. Right, there we go then. That's one door card done. And the car is actually starting to come together and look like a real car, uh, which is great because I've promise that I'm going to take the kids to uh, Land of Crocodiles tomorrow. I'm taking this car to Land of Crocodiles tomorrow yeah. in the Cotswolds. Well, we're going to get these That's my plan, cars, yeah. So, so be safe while doing it. I'm going to stop filming and I'm just going to crack on. So not much film today because yesterday, the last time we were down here, we shot two and a half hours worth of footage and did about half an hour's worth of work. On. I'll crack on and you crack one off. On the green 850, it has orange indicator lenses, but for the V70 that came after, they upgraded them to clear. And I just happened to have a scrapper v70 over there so i'm going to swap them over real quick live on camera you ready right i'm going to slide that backwards or forwards forwards and it just pops out and you can tell that george lives on a farm because of how much mud is in there once that's out it literally pulls out like that dead easy now i'm going to clean up the area just a little bit Ooh, ah, just a little bit Ooh, ah, some clear indicators and then just plug it back in and reverse the process. Clear indicator upgrade. Done. Thousands of tears later. So we nearly finished with the Volvo. A few final touches. I went a bit Welsh then, didn't I? So it's, uh, so there you go. So, uh, is that back refitted there, Jeff? Yeah, this is exactly how they did it in Sweden. Um, we've had some problems with the seatbelt fittings and I could not for the life of me we could not for the life of us work out how to get the um, seat belts from the V70 to work in the 850. So as a quick bodge, without spending weeks trying to work it out, I've used the seat belts from the 850. Yep. And this is the last plastic panel from the V17. It don't quite fit because the 850 seat belt is a bit more bulky. Yeah. Whereas the V70 seat belt was like a long fit down the side of this yep. panel. And it's late in the day and I'm nearly done. So I just thought, you know what, forget it. I'm just going to chop down this panel, stick it on. So go show people the interior. I will. Because it looks um, do we, do we, should we go past the hideous thing to out to my right? It's an SRI. Is it? I don't think that means anything these days. It used to. Yeah, Vauxhall. Why would you own one of these when you could spend an eighth of the price on a Volvo? And I know miles per gallon, but this has got miles per gallon. That's really cheesy, but it's true. So this is just the tools. Uh, that's the boot. So as you can go, the interior is looking flashback. Whether I should um, turn it into a two-seater, because another option would be to, and don't 
call me crazy for saying this, but I was thinking if I um, got the side panels sorted out, I could actually do like a laminate floor, like a flat bed, right? So it could literally be a Volvo camper. So bear with me, right? Hear me out. Imagine. End of flashback. La sexy. So the back seats are all in. We're going to give the carpets a good valley. Lovely 850. Uh, very nice condition, these. Um, so, yeah, that's looking lovely. Uh, obviously, the door card. What's that? It needs a damn good clean. It does, it does need a good clean, but it will get one. Um, that works. Uh, but it's So, yeah, it's looking good. It just needs a clean. The door cards are on. Uh, obviously, the little fixture and fittings to go. Lovely bit of there. That needs a clean. But the seats are in. Um, and obviously, this is what happened here. So, we, we're just bodging this little bit, so it's better. Um, but it has seat belts. And... If you hear that, there we go. The seat belts are in. And let's face it, guys, you're going to need seat belts in this because the power and acceleration is ridiculous. But look how gorgeous today is. It's absolutely stunning. But the seat belt, oh, yep, that works. Lovely job. Bye, Jeff. Hey. Bye. Bye. Flashback. End of flashback.